welcome everybody to Falcon Gaming, where we're going to play a nice game called Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. Oh. A game whose rage-inducing play has sent many, many folk mad. I want to make sure that our sensitivity is at the level that we like it. Now, I have not gotten to the top yet. I've gotten uh, through a lot of the uh, the hill itself, never to the top of the mountain. I've gotten uh, up to the what it's known as the Orange Hell, but not anywhere past that. So let's uh, let's get moving. Mm. One thing I do like about this game is uh, a feeling of accomplishment once you ah, kind of get around this guy here. Here we go. Hang on now. Up, up and over. Up, up and over. Whoosh. Now the controls are not intuitive. So I gotta swing There's no the feeling around. more intense than starting over. Yeah. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home, and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel that free to go away and come back. Is an understatement. I'll be here. Now you can see I'm kind of quickly progressing through some of this stuff. All right. This. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have talk. to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Yeah. Thank you for that. Was, this game is a homage hmm. to a free game that came out in 2002 yeah, you, you keep talking titled about Sexy Hiking. Don't, don't worry about me. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Come on. In so, a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect yeah. embodiment of a B-game. Yeah. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Thank you, Bennett. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method oh, or the shoot, correct equipment just go. by spending enough time. Boom! In that sense, every pixelated right. obstacle in Sexy Hiking is real. Bennett, you're really taking up a lot of my talking time, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. The obstacles in Sexy Hiking are unyielding, and that makes mm. the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. Very artsy. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. Whoosh. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the oh, no. summit that turns those mountains into something it. real. I, uh, when you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quick set cement. 
You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Whoosh. Okay. Now that Bennett Fadi's done lamenting, um, what I was going to say after I failed so horribly uh, the last time I went up this chimney was getting to the same spot over and over and over and over and over again. You do it so many times that you get a little groove, like here. I'm usually pretty good about getting up that chimney, but for some reason I'm having a hard time with this right now. We're going to launch ourselves up, and there we go. And we're kind of up. Once I get past this chimney, and I usually just get stuck at the playground that's up top. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, just kind of chill right there. It's a good spot to launch, and For years up. now, people have been predicting and that Bennett's games back. would soon Thank be made you, out of prefabricated objects. Bought in a store and, and assembled into a world. Climbing. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, they're trash. although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, okay. those moments pass by in seconds. Oh dear. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. Yeah. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua oh, franca no. of the digital age. Oh, and you can build culture out of trash. Me. But Nobody only trash culture. B games, B movies. Again, B I'm blaming Bennett Fadi's narration here because I'm usually on point with a lot of these. Maybe this is what digital culture is. Rush. A monstrous mountain of trash. The ash heap yes. of creativity's fountain. Lots of a ash landfill in this heap. with everything we ever thought of in it. Yep. Grand, infinite, Try to get and scan. unsorted. Here we go. Up and over. Up and over. Oh. That's what's up. Just kind of... Oh, now he's done talking. I can actually focus. That's helpful. You don't usually ever have that big of a struggle trying to get to this part over here. It's actually relatively safe once you kind of place your little copper pot there. A copper pot. Now, I would love nothing more. There's 3D models of oh, breakfast, Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan Magazines, Green Screen Shia LaBeouf, banned snuff scenes on Live League, just, Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded right, adverts fine. and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. Yep, okay. Now that he's done talking, everything's fresh oh, for about six mind. seconds never until some mind. newer thing beckons Thought and we hit done. refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. So, what I was gonna say <coughs> in this that, context, oh, it's geez. tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, yes, that lets you churn sure. through it but not earn it. Yeah. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland Whoop. things? Whoosh. Okay, are you done? Can I talk now? All right. So, this is the part that I get to. Not here, but uh, the playground is my I'm a safe haven. Mm. It allows me to kind of return back to this spotty area over here. The staircase. I'm usually able to get up on this guy pretty good here. Although, watch me mess it up royally. Now that I don't have Bennett Foddy talking in my ear all the time, let's see if I can actually kind of swing this. Whoosh! 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 When games Boom. were new, we're they up. wanted a lot from you. Daunting you, taunting you, yes. resetting you and delaying you. you. Players played That's stoically. I, now everyone's I turned on off doing by a narration that. over this, but They no, want to burn through it quickly. It. A quick okay. fix for the fickle. Uh, some tricks for the clicks of the yes, feckless. Yes, sir, indeed. But that's not you. You're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. Sure. I mean, if you wanted to. 
So if it looks like I got through this, if I made it look easy, it's only because I've done it a thousand times before. Trust me, it has taken a long time to uh, to get used to these controls. Whoop. Whoa! Hang on there. Hang on, guy. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Though things always tend to get a little squirrely for me around here. Because I can never launch myself off quite right on this chair. Which is fine. Whoa! But the hard part is... Whoa! Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. Okay. The hard part is swinging the hammer around where you want want it to go. And not, like, accidentally knock yourself back out somewhere where you didn't want to go. You know what I mean? N you know what I'm saying? <sighs> now I know. Most likely you're okay, watching okay. this on YouTube or Twitch. Are you? While some dude with 10 million hey. views does it for you. Like a no. baby bird being fed chewed up food. Don't, don't, That's don't insult too. the viewers, Bennett. That's just rude. Um, yes, if you are watching this on my YouTube channel, please oh, give a like, give a subscribe. <clears throat> Always love having you. Oh, dear. Okay. And we're back to the chair. So I've gotten past this furniture part before. Um, not with grace or style, mind you. Just with basically frantic clawing of the hammer. Kind of like that. <laughs> oh, dear. But, uh, okay. Okay. But, uh, yeah, the controls are not ever kind to you in this game. If you, if you are one who gets very frustrated easily with this, um, I would say don't play it. Getting over it with Benefati, it's, a, it's an interesting experience. I mean, I've seen people do it on YouTube. If you've seen any of the speedrunners, they make it look like a cakewalk, and you think, yeah, I could do that. Um, the problem is the controls are not that intuitive, and you try to move like them. You're not gonna have an easy time with it. I mean, like, sure, I got to the toilet, and that's like another little safety spot. Oh, but try. but on the off chance that you're yeah, playing okay. this, what I'm saying is, trash is disposable, but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable. What? What's the feeling like? Are you stressed? I guess you don't hate it if you got this far. Oh. Feeling frustrated. Okay. Underrated. Here we go. Boink. An so, orange. Oh, yes. This sweet, juicy Thank you. fruit okay. locked inside a bitter peel. Yes. That's not how I feel about a challenge. I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. It's grapefruit. Yeah. It's licorice. Yep. Bitter stuff is yummy too, I guess. So, this is the part. This is the furthest that I've ever gotten with this game. And if you've gotten farther than me, congratulations. I haven't sunken too much time into this. I'm probably at about five hours plus with this game. Um, surprisingly, didn't have a whole ton of falls. I did have a couple of big, you know, blunders earlier on in this video. But, you know, if you're following with me along in this journey, this, this is my stopping point. Because I can get here. I have gotten up to that ledge before. I have started to climb those multiple rocks. However... I have not gotten to the uh, the chapel or the steeple or whatever is up there. So um, let's see. Let's let's take this journey together, everyone. We may end up horribly off down there, but uh, I'm hoping not, because. Mm -hmm.